We are continuing our celebration of black history here in Rochester and beyond. New York State's only remaining black-owned commercial radio station celebrates 50 years this April. That's right. The current owner of WDKX was just a kid when his parents Andrew and Gloria Langston moved to Rochester in 1963. In an exclusive interview, I asked Andre Langston about the future of the station carrying out his parents' dream and how 103.9 FM continues to dominate Rochester's radio market. Well, there's nothing like 1039 WDKX. We'll be back with more music with you in mind. Thanks for inviting us into your day, and thanks for making us number one. Radio personality Andre Marcel says soon he'll pass the mic to someone else to host the popular Saturday morning radio show Memory Lane. This is what family does on Saturday. We get together, we share memories. But away from the mic, Andre Langston, the business owner, shares after 50 years in Rochester, 103.9 FM is here to stay. WDKX is the last remaining black-owned radio station in New York State and one of only a handful across the country. Content is what's going to save radio. If you got content, people will listen. Andre made a promise to his parents, Gloria and Andrew Langston, a long time ago. My dad said... I need you, and that's why I'm still here. My dad still needs me. I call myself the gatekeeper. I keep his, his dream alive, and my mom's too, because this station wouldn't be here without her. They were a great team. Andre remembers being a young child, just six, when his dad moved the family from Brooklyn to Rochester in the 1960s for a new job. DCAX really started because he was denied being hired by, which is ironic, by the TV station that's interviewing me right now. He says that rejection by WROC, which was owned by a different company, was indicative of the racial attitudes prevalent in the 1960s. And of course, Andre says it was a setback for his uh, father, but it was just the beginning of a story about a black man who would become a successful business leader in Rochester. We get a lot of prejudice in this business. They can't... Uh, conceive that I can own something like this and manage it very well. Andrew Langston would eventually form Monroe County Broadcasting Company and acquire a license from the FCC to operate the radio station that's been on the air since 1974 and winning the rating games for decades. One of the things that motivated me, I mean to a point I almost said the wrong word, because People used to call this a mom pops business, like it was a little corner store. And I'm like, what? But that's because the ratings weren't there. Now the ratings are there. What are you calling us now? What are you calling us now? Well, come back tomorrow at 4 for part 2 of my exclusive interview with Andre Langston. It includes some pretty cool archive images and sounds from 1974 when WDKX debuted on the air. <laughs>